Huawei has always impressed us with the value for money offered by its smartphones by generally throwing in better specifications than its competitors. The Honor 6 is one such device from the Chinese manufacturer. But does it perform like a champ in the real world? And more importantly, does it outclass or at least match what competitors can offer? Let's find out. Hey, this is Anand for Gizmo Lead and this is the full review of the Huawei Honor 6. On the first glance, you can easily mistake the Honor 6 for an iPhone 4 or 4S. But when I saw its sides, it also reminded me of Sony. The phone, mostly because of its plastic clad body, weighs just 130 grams, which is on the lighter side for a mid-range phone nowadays. It rests well in hands. The volume rocker and the power key are placed on the right. Below these buttons is a lid that opens up for a micro SIM and micro SD card. In our opinion, the plastic and glass body also makes it rather fragile. So, I think a case would be nice for the phone if you are planning to buy it. The phone has a 3.5mm audio jack placed on the upper side of the screen, coupled with an IR sensor placed next to it. Overall, we feel that the design is good and attractive, although it is clearly and heavily inspired by the iPhone 4 or the 4S. But it is still nice if you don't have friends who love Apple. The 5-inch display of the Honor 6 has a resolution of 1080 into 1920 pixels, giving it a density of 445 pixels per inch. The high pixel density also makes the screen sharp. It shows good colors and displays decent viewing angles. Trust me, I love it. Of course, good screens have become rather common in mid-range and high-end smartphones. The Honor 6 comes equipped with a 13 megapixel camera and a 5 megapixel secondary camera. The rear camera is a good performer and in our opinion justifies its high megapixel count. In good light, the camera shoots sharp images that have lots of details and nice colors. It is not the fastest of cameras, but if you hold it steady and if the light is good, you can get crisp images with it. In low light, the camera captures good colors and shows above average performance. Videos are recorded in full HD at up to 30 fps. The camera app has loads of options that users can tweak to get better images. The Honor 6 runs on Huawei's Emotion UI on top of Android KitKat 4.4.2. It lets you customize the icons, app badges and app layouts and it also comes with some preloaded themes. In addition, there are a few unique apps that Huawei has pre-installed on the phone. But whatever it is, I will still use the Google Now launcher because I love it. On paper, the Honor 6 is very powerful. It is powered by a Kirin 920 which is an octa-core processor. Then there is 3GB of RAM in the phone. At its price, the phone offers one of the most powerful processors. The user interface on the Honor 6 offers a lag-free experience. We especially love the phone for its gaming. It can play almost any high-intensity game with ease and without dropping frames. The only thing we didn't like about the device was that during heavy use, it begins to heat under the back cover. All smartphones get hot under heavy use, but there were occasions when the Honor 6 got uncomfortably hot. The phone comes with 3100 mAh battery. Depending on how you use the phone, the battery can last between 20 to 25 hours, which in our opinion is fantastic. The phone has 16 GB of internal memory, but you can add more by using a micro SD card. The Honor 6 has a great screen decent camera functionality and a great battery. But the thing is that it is priced at rupees 20,000. At this price, this is an extremely attractive phone. The Lenovo Vibe X2 looks better, but the Honor 6 offers better performance. Actually, both the devices are quite close in terms of what they offer and if you don't want to spend more than rupees 20,000 on the smartphones, both the Vibe X2 and the Honor 6 are cool. But if you can spend a few thousand rupees more, you can also go for the OnePlus One, which is an awesome phone for its price. But hey, you need invites. Thanks for watching.